Chris, it is a bombshell revelation. George could be out of his prison cell as early as next week, and he doesn't even know it yet. George Powell has served 10 years of a 28 year sentence for armed robbery. He's always maintained his innocence, and now the highest court in the state says George will have another chance to prove it. How do I stay sane? You don't. Life behind these walls has been a challenge for George Powell. He spent more than a decade behind bars convicted of armed robbery, but spends his days trying to prove his innocence. And now he's finally getting another shot. This is really happening. I'm really in prison for something I did not have anything to do with. In 2009, George was convicted of armed robbery of a Colleen 7-Eleven. False testimony from a jailhouse informant helped put him away, but it's also what is helping his case now. This morning, the Texas Court of Criminal Appeals ruled there was misconduct on the state's part during George's trial in relation to that testimony that prevented him from having a fair trial, saying in part, the trial court finds that Smith's testimony at trial that he had not made any kind of deal in exchange for his testimony, had not asked for anything, did not hope for any kind of credit, and was testifying only because he wanted to do the right thing was false, and that the state failed to correct such testimony, leading to Georgia's conviction to be vacated and a new trial granted. This after Georgia's attorney, Mike Ware, the executive director of the Innocence Project of Texas, picked up the case and applied the pressure. This is what it comes down to. The, the prosecutors cheated and lied in order to convict an innocent man. And so he is entitled to a new trial, and we're confident that in a fair trial where the prosecutors don't cheat and lie, Mr. Powell will be acquitted. George's fiance Tamara Parsons helped George obtain his new legal team at the Innocence Project, and she's been fighting for his freedom for six years. She says she never gave up hope that one day he may return home. Oh, I think he's going to be <laughs> as ecstatic as I am right now. <laughs> he wants to start a business. It's been six years now for me, and that's a long time to be uh, waiting and hoping, and it's a good day. But they just kept pointing us towards George. All of this coming just 48 hours before a Netflix series covering George's case premieres to 150 million subscribers around the world. It focuses on junk science and how it can lead to wrongful convictions. In George's case, an eyewitness described the robber as five foot six. George, however, is six foot three. The major height discrepancies and questionable forensic video analysis catching the eye of Netflix and also proved to be major focal points during Ware's arguments. Since Powell is no longer convicted of anything, his lawyer says he should be moved back to the Bell County Jail within the next week or so. They will then work on getting bail set, while George continues to profess his innocence. I'm absolutely 100% innocent. We asked Bell County District Attorney Henry Garza if he really is going to try George's case for a second time. He says yes, that is the plan. In response to that, George's attorney Mike Ware says he wonders if it will be fair this time around and says if the DA's office doesn't recuse itself from the case, the defense will file a motion to do so. Ware also says they will file a motion for reconsideration of the actual innocence claims within the next 15 days. Chris.